The city of Hot Springs is building a 17 mile long pipeline going from Lake Wachita, which is up to the north here. Michaels has done another portion of the project to go through the mountainside and do the lake tap. The scope of work for Lake Wachita is to recover the MTBM, then we will be installing the intake system for hot springs. It's not one person doing all the work, it's all of us working as one full unit. When we talk about family, we actually it's someone's life on the other end of that hose, so we're taking care of each other, like that's what it is. Today we're taking a look at the, the float and sink operation. This was a design build project, so we took it from the very beginning. We came up with a design to float about 500 feet of 0.75 wall pipe, concrete coated with five and a half inches of concrete for anti-buoyancy, floated across uh, with a number of bend connections on the end to connect to the existing pipe that we previously installed, sink the pipeline down, and connect. Each Pipe section weighs about 58, 59,000 pounds with the concrete. So total with everything, um, it was just less than half a million pounds. This is a collaboration with Michael Strenchel Sink, Marine, and you know Pipeline has been involved. So good collaboration between all the Michael's entities. You have challenges with existing infrastructure and existing national treasures like Hamilton or or Lake Wachita, you know, a lot of times trenchless is brought into the equation for our, our friendliness to environmental situations. Essentially, this contract ties four other contracts together, which will eventually bring raw water to a brand new treatment plant in the city of Hot Springs. Um, everybody operates a little differently, that's fine, but um, the leaders on both sides, when the leaders on both sides can come together and just find a neutral ground and a neutral goal, that's where we win.